What's up, Rams? My name's Ryan Christ here on another Thursday bringing you all the latest in entertainment news, so let's jump right in. Jeopardy, the long-running game show with the world's most stressful music, had a very unlikely win on their show a few days ago, when Naval Officer Manny Abel won the day with only one dollar. Manny was in last place with $1,000, and on the final Jeopardy, he bet 999 of those dollars that Iraq is the nation that borders the Caspian Sea and the Persian Gulf. While the correct answer is Iran, he managed to win. Although the other two players were way ahead of him, they bet everything they had and zeroed out. This only happened once before in 1993. Well, this day, of course, didn't add too much to his total. I guess a win's a win. And who knows, maybe if he's smart, he can save up to buy a gosh dang atlas. Sally's Kitchen is a unique Chinese restaurant that you may not have heard of in Fort Collins. This restaurant opened in 2013 and has been gaining a rather large following due to the fact that it's a gas station. I know, it certainly caught me off guard. I can't think of any time when I have said, hey, let's get dinner at the gas station, or hey, have you ever been to the gas station? They have great Chinese food. However, according to many customers on Yelp, this gas station is a great place to eat. The owner, whose name is, huh, you guessed it, Sally, explained that it was the right rent and just a mile from where she lived. This gas station is on 4727 South Timberline Road, and I may have to try it. Odell Brewing had some great live music this past weekend, so let's check it out. This past weekend at Odell Brewing, everyone was welcome to sit back and relax and listen to Jazz and Friends. Are, uh, these are some local guys. Um, one of the things we like to do is highlight local artists here at the brewery. Um, throughout most of the summer, we've got live bands every Sunday, and uh, we bring them out, just kind of create kind of a family fun. It's kind of easy going atmosphere. So these guys have played here uh, a couple different times. I think they did earlier in the year, and I know they played last year as well, but it was a lot. Jazz Friends plays a variety of styles from bebop, Swing. Along with Odell's beer and jazz friends, people could also shop at their local artisan market. Basically what we decided to do is invite the community with local artists and makers and produce and do um, a little local farmer's market. Um, asking anybody what they wanted to bring or what they wanted to involve with um, really celebrating local and then appreciating the idea of uh, collaborating with what the brewery already has going culture-wise for Fort Collins. Odell Brewing has live music every Sunday and it's open to the public. If you know me, then you love that I then you know that I love talking about movies. And we just got some great movie news. As we know, Star Wars The Last Jedi will be coming out soon, and the young Han Solo film will be released shortly after in, in May of 2018. So fans like myself can't get any more excited with two, two Star Wars movies coming out so close together. But this excitement continues when yesterday the young Han Solo film officially got its name. Now at first, I was a little disappointed because at first glance, it's a little underwhelming. It's simply Solo, a Star Wars story. See what I mean? It's just like, kinda okay. I mean, it's better than young Han Solo, but still. That's all they could have come up with? Personally, I would have liked it to be called Scruffy Looking or Nerve Herder rather than just his name, but oh well. I'm just excited that we're getting more and more Star Wars news. As we all know, Starbucks loves their seasonal drinks, and the UK this past weekend just released another one known as the Vampire Frap. This frap fitting is, this frap lasts until October 31st and is, it, is helping the UK get spooky. But of course, this drink has not been released in the US because we are all still in pumpkin spice fever. But to make it, it's very easy to make. All you have to do is ask the barista for a chocolate frap or a mocha frap then ask for extra strawberry sauce on top, and you got a vampire frap. Since it isn't officially released stateside, this is as close as we can get. And I am joined here with AJ Frankson, who is going to try this with me and see how it tastes. 
thanks for being here, AJ. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah, no problem. So let's get these fraps in oh, here. Oh, yes. So, so let's see, have... which one do you got? Okay, so we have the, the chocolate chip one and the okay. mocha one. All right, which one do you want? Which one do I want? Yeah. Okay, I'll have chocolate chip because okay, I'm a sucker for chocolate. The mocha. All right. Let's try this. Okay, cause, uh, cool. So, yeah, we got these at our then. missions, and we just asked what I said. Of course, they're supposed to be whipped cream, but for some reason, they were out of whipped cream. Yeah, like, what kind of Starbucks turns like, out of whipped cream? What the heck? I honestly want a refund. This I, is <laughs> I do, too, but uh, I guess here we go. All right. <laughs> oh. oh, my. <laughs> You know, it's kind of growing on me, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, mine wasn't that bad. What? <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Here, here, let me try yours. I want to I wanna see Kay. this. This one's better. OK, um, I see what you mean with this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, these are very sugary. I can really taste very. the strawberry. Well, I feel like at Starbucks, you kind of just get like coffee with like a lot of sugar. Yeah. Or like sugar with like a side of coffee, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of what this <laughs> is, and I know this is only as close as we can get because we don't have the real thing, but uh, wow, um, if this is close, I, I wonder what the real thing is. I know. I kind of want to just fly to Europe and figure it out myself. Seriously. Well, thanks again for being here, AJ. Maybe we can fly to Europe, but unfortunately, that's all the time I have for you tonight. But make sure to stay tuned for Monday Night Sports Show, and have a great night, Rams.